Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with the review of Anchor's Soundcore Liberty Neo wireless earphones. Now, I've recently reviewed the Liberty Airs and they were very good, but I actually like these a little bit better. So as you can see on the front there, ultra compact, they've got a nice clamshell style charging case, it's very light, convenient, easy to carry around, and really I'm a big fan of these, especially for the low price of $59.99. Kind of hard to beat that. But they are completely wireless. There's no wires anywhere. It's not like the ones where they have the wire that connects the two together. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All you have to do is just pop them in your ears and go. And they're very easy to pair. They're very easy to charge. They recharge in an hour and a half. So completely charged in an hour and a half and you get three and a half hours of playtime. Uh, of course that does vary based off of your individual usage, but it'll go up to three and a half hours. Now this box, uh, as, as you can see there, is kind of a, a pain in the rear end. But on the backs here, you can see some of the other specs. They've got the graphene driver technology for quality sound, ultra compact, 12 hours of playtime if you factor in the ability to recharge it with the carrying case, sweat resistant IPX5. So it's pretty much got everything under the sun you could ask for, especially in a pair of earphones that only cost $59.99. Now you can see there's three little dots there, uh, and what those do is they light up, they'll indicate how much of a charge the carrying case has. But they're great, easy to pair, easy to use, and super convenient. So they're very easy to pair, like I said. All you have to do is just take them out of the carrying case and they instantly enter into pairing mode. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute, but you can pair them uh, together, or if you just wanted to take one out, you can pair it individually but of course it works best to pair both of them at the same time. When you pull them out instantly, it enters pair mode. You just pull up whatever device you're using and you can go ahead and connect them that way. Also, one thing I do really like is whenever I pull them out uh, after they're paired, you can use one at a time. But let me go ahead and demonstrate here. So let me get my iPad and I'll bring that over here to the picture. Put it into a search mode for Bluetooth and then we'll take the Soundcore Liberty Neos out and we'll wait for it to pop up on the screen here. And there you go. Liberty Neos, all you have to do is one stop shop, press the button and you're paired and ready to go. Which is really fantastic because you don't have to worry about a code, you don't have to worry about pushing a button, you don't have to do any of that crazy business. But like I said, once they're paired you take one out and this is how I use mine most of the time. And it's really nice whenever you can listen to both at the same time. But in my office environment, I'm allowed to use them to listen to music while I work. So I'll just pop one of them in my ear and then I can listen that way. Another nice feature is both of them have microphones built into them. So if you're using one earphone or you're using both of them at the same time, you can get that stereo audio experience, which is pretty good. Uh, I really feel kind of weird talking on the phone when I'm using my earphones, but Overall, it's a nice capability that I'm glad that they include nowadays. So, here are little ear stabilizers. Uh, you see, there's three sets of these. There's a set that's already kind of on the earphone, but it doesn't have that little wingtip uh, that protrudes for the extra stabilization. So you can pop that right off. They are marked, so you can figure out which one to use, but you have three additional sets that have the stabilizers on them and they allow you to wear the earpiece more comfortably, I guess. Um, I just used it without, but if you, for your ergonomic needs need it, then it works out great. You have the world's smallest USB cable. I, I don't know why they always give such small USB cables, but it's kind of annoying uh, because you know, if you want to plug in your charger into the wall, you, this thing is, is barely going to be hanging off the carpet. I mean, it's barely going to touch the ground, really. But I use, I use a different cable that comes with mine. So the carrying case works really well. Uh, I do like the availability to just pop the earphones back in there. So whenever you're, I'm not using them, I always put them back in there. They'll be charging. So anytime they're in the cradle, they're charging, uh, which works out well because when you take them out to use them, if you want to recharge the battery, the, the carrying case, all you have to do is just plug that in. They don't have to have the earphones in it to be charging. Uh, you also got four sets of ear tips, size for your individual comfort. I believe it's extra small, small, medium, and large. Uh, I used the default ones. Actually, I did change down to uh, one size smaller just so they would, they would fit a little bit better. But they are uh, available so you can put whichever size you need on for your listening needs. Now, like I said, 
It does have one and a half hour charge time, three and a half hours of listening time, up to 12 hours of play time if you want to pop them back in and out of the carrying case as you need to use them. Six millimeter dual drivers uh, and the IPX5 sweat and water resistance. So you got pretty much everything that you could need. And all, like I said, for 60 bucks, it's, it's really a good deal. Now, there is an added functionality with the earphones. Um, you can use them, like I said, you can talk on the phone with them, and you can also uh, use the multifunction button. So each one of the wireless earbuds on the back there, the Soundcore logo, has a button. And all you have to do is just push that button, and you can answer phone calls, you can hang phone calls up, you can press it uh, while you're playing music or watching media, and with certain media players, it will pause it or it will stop it. And if you want to go forward a track or backward a track, you can just press the button and hold it. So that works pretty nice too. Now the overall sound quality, you can see little metal filters that they have there that protect the graphene drivers, which produce the sound. Two little pins there, which go in the charging case to recharge it. The sound quality is actually really good. Uh, and I was impressed with it, not just because they're portable and not just because of the price, but I've listened to quite a few other of these portable stow and go completely wireless or truly wireless earbuds as they call them. And these are probably the most impressive that I've listened to outside of the Samsung Gearbuds. But you're going to pay $129 for those. We're talking about $59. Uh, I recently did get a pair of the Samsung Gearbuds for my wife because she likes them uh, to go with her Samsung phone. Uh, I tested them out previously and I like them a lot. But for me, it's not worth the $130 investment. These are about probably 85% of the sound experience, um, but you don't have to worry about that added price tag. And I really think that all around, if I were to recommend a pair of earphones, at least this, this far into the year, I would say to go ahead and pick a pair of these Soundcore Neos up. The bass carries really well. It has a nice thump to it. Uh, one thing I do like is that it's not overpowering. You know, some manufacturers like to go ahead and make their earphones extra boomy or add extra bass because they think that that's what people want to hear. But in reality, all it does is it just drowns out the vocals and it drowns out the highs. The Liberty Neos have a very balanced sound experience that complements a lot of different types of music. And I listen to predominantly 80s and 90s music, but I listen to a lot of different genres within that subset. So you listen to you know, rock, pop, alternative, and so much different stuff, even classical music. The sound quality is very good. The volume is good. I, I can put this on like 70% volume and my wife says that it hurts her ears. Me, you know, I, after spending so many years in the military and deployments, firearms, everything else, uh, my hearing is pretty well shot. So I turn this up to max and it's right at about acceptable for me. I would like it to be just a tiny bit louder because uh, I do like to listen to my music really loud. But other than that, uh, for a normal person, I'm sure the volume is fantastic. Uh, like I said, my wife can't even turn it up all the way with, without complaining that it hurts her ears and having to take them out. So the sound quality is good. The volume is good. The functionality is good. Easy to pair. Uh, back to the sound experience, the, the mids and the vocals are really good. And that's one thing that's important to me because a lot of times, a lot of different earphones, they have a hard time producing a quality balanced sound across the sound spectrum. And I like to be able to hear the vocals. I want to hear the, the song that's going on, not just the beat, the bump, not just you know, the digital stuff or all the other noise that's going along with it. And even on the highs, you know, the hi-hats and the different stuff that pops up and comes in and out, the sound experience is is balanced and, uh, throughout the sound spectrum. And especially if you go ahead and you tune it, uh, if you use an equalizer and you want to go ahead and balance out the sound experience, you can put it to however you would like to listen to it. But the core listening experience is good and it just gets even better if you go ahead and uh, use an equalizer as well, which is typically common with a lot of apps, not so much YouTube, but maybe YouTube Music or use Napster or anything like that. There's a lot of different ways you can tune it to your individual listening needs, but that's pretty much all I have for the Anchor Soundcore Liberty Neos. Like I said, I'm a big fan of them. You can pick them up the the and the drop down. I've got a link so you can directly go and check them out. They're $59.99. And I think that they're probably the best ones that Anchor has made to date. So if you want a good, good quality sound experience, you don't want to break the bank. You want all the added functionality, the stereo uh, 
stereo phone calls and all that stuff, this is something I would highly recommend. So thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the drop down, and I will see you guys next time.